Hey there guys, Fireman Official here, and welcome to this Age of Empires 4 video. So today we're doing the Chinese Fast Castle into Palace Guards, and it's going to be a relatively fast build order, but we're going to have to be a bit careful. If we're up against the English, we're going to have to defend quite heavily to start off with. Our target time for the Castle Age is around about 8 minutes. That does mean we're fully walled, so I really wouldn't recommend doing this against the English without being walled up, because frankly, an English Longbowman Rush can really do some damage, and... Going fast castle without any army is a bit greedy in Age of Empires 4. But if you can get the walls up and you can def defend yourself pretty well, then actually it's not too bad. So what we do with the Chinese is we're going to start off with six villages um, to go to build the mill, the starting six villages that is, and then we queue up an Imperial official from our town centre. We take the sheep we're using our scout to go to the mill, and we start taking sheep at the mill with the supervision of the Imperial official. The first two villages to come out from the town centre We'll go to wood. In fact, it's the first three villages will go to wood. So I'm very used to getting two. But the reason why we're getting three is because this extra villager is going to give us enough wood to be able to wall up our base. Now, if you've seen my build order for the fast castle into crossbowmen, this is a very, very similar build order. But uh, that's for that's for a different video. Now, of course, we take our scout to find as many sheep as we can and we bring them back to the mill. Once we've got three villagers on wood, we're then going to send the next four villagers to the sheep to make ten in total. Now this build order giving us the palace guards and castle age can be really effective because you can combine this with siege from the astronomical clock tower which is the landmark that we're going to use to get up to the castle age. To get up to the feudal age we're going to go for the barbican of the sun which offers us a lot of protection um, and offers some defensive stability. I think without the barbican of the sun this would be very hard to pull off. We're going to take the Imperial official to bring back gold from the mill when we can, when we get 20 gold. Try and drop off food using the villagers um, that are taking food from the sheep just before the tax collector picks it up, just so that you can maximize the supervision duration. The supervision effect actually happens, guys, when the villagers drop off the food at the drop-off point. So we're making decent progress. Um, we're almost at 10 on food. Once we do have 10 villagers on food, we'll send the next 3 villagers to gold. Just a heads up guys, the build order PDFs are available now, so do check out the YouTube description of this video if you're interested in getting hold of them. But of course we're going through them now anyway, so just a quick jotting down of the steps uh, is easy enough. Okay, so we've got 10 on food, so we're going to start getting 3 villagers to gold. And it's this point where we start to take 2 villagers from food to start walling up our base. We want to be walled up well, because of course we're worried about an English longbowman rush. The steps are, once you've got 3 villagers in total on gold, we're then going to get another imperial official from the town centre, a new one, to supervise the gold mine. Okay, we're making steady progress. We should be pretty well walled up by the time we get up to the next age. And um, once you've hit 400 food and 200 gold, we're going to choose the Barbican of the Sun. We'd rather kind of put that where we have to wall up the longest, so that offers us some protection. Hopefully pushes our opponent to go to another side of our base where the wall isn't so big. Um, but the Barbican of the Sun is, is really important for us to be able to defend ourselves. Okay, when we do have enough resources to get up to the next age, which is 400 food and 200 gold, we're going to take one villager from gold to build the Barbican of the Sun. Try and find as many sheep as you can. Obviously, we want to get as much food at the mill as possible so that we can delay having to place farms but we will of course make that transition later on in the game and as you can see we're up four minutes 30 seconds now and we're doing pretty well with the walls actually and as you can see the barbican of the sun is going to be kind of covering the last portion that we have to ward up just in case the english longbowman rush comes in We've got that little bit of protection there. Now don't forget as well the Chinese do build a bit faster so um, we've only got one villager on that landmark but because of the bonus we can afford to do that. 
Don't forget to build the houses as well. We take a villager from the wood line to do that. Uh, just every so often so that we can uh, make sure we keep our TC running. So our opponent has reached feudal age at about 5 minutes, uh, 15 seconds, which is usually quite typical. Um, and by the time they come to your base now, as you can see, we're going to be fully walled up. And we've got the Barbican of the Sun there, so we should hopefully be able to stop them coming in. They're going to need rams to get in, really, if they're going for the rush, which they might do. Uh, I mean, I think the English Longbowman and uh, Ram Rush is probably the strongest in the game at the moment. So you need to be aware of that. But as I said earlier, we will have an adaptation that we can do using the Astronomical Clock Tower. Uh, a Spring Old or two and a couple of Nestor Bees would really push that back. Okay, now once the villagers have finished up walling up, they go to food. The villager that built the Barbican of the Sun also goes to food. And yeah, we're going to be aiming to get up to 18 villagers on food before we are able to click up to the next stage or build the astronomical clock tower to get up to the next stage. And then we will start to get some villagers on wood. Don't forget to build another house, which we're doing now. And this is the point where you might be running out of sheep, and if you are, don't forget to kind of shift-click your villagers to go off to berries. And this is why it's quite nice having the mill at the berries, because you don't have to spend the extra wood for an extra mill. And it's, it makes for a very quick and easy transition to berries. We're taking the Imperial official that's supervising the gold mine to bring up gold taxes as well. And we're going to be on our way up to the castle age as well. So you may notice, compared to my crossbowman, um, fast castle to crossbowman build order for the Chinese. This castle age time is a bit slower and that's expected because of course we are fully walled and uh, that offers us a lot of more protection and buys us some time of course. Okay, just need a bit more gold before we can get up to the next stage which we will do now and we're going to take eight villagers from food to build the astronomical clock tower. So we've got 18 that were on food, well 10 now, and 8 are building the astronomical clock tower. So we're going to send the next villagers to go to wood, and we're going to build a barracks as soon as we can afford it. And of course that barracks is going to be crucial for our palace guards. We're going to use an imperial official also to supervise the barracks, and that will enable us to effectively have three barracks production. And we're really going to want to pump out units. Okay, we're up to the next stage at about 8 minutes. That's our target time, really. We've got the barracks almost built. And we're going to get the uh, barracks supervised and producing our palace guards. As you can see, we're on, under the attack on the left there. It's a bit of an odd place for us to be under attack because obviously we've got the, um, the Barbican of the Sun there. So as you can see now, we're producing palace guards, which is great. We're going to save up for a blacksmith for some upgrades. Usually I go for iron undermesh if we're going up against the English and you just see what they have. I mean, if they're going for man of arms, obviously the upgrades are different, but if they're going for longbows, having iron undermesh is really, really helpful. So in this scenario, because we're going for palace guards, I've gone for five on wood and then we're going to send villagers to food. Up to about 22 on food and then we're going to start sending villagers to gold. This will keep us producing our palace guards and yeah this is it really um if you want to go for siege at this point instead of the palace guards you wouldn't of course build the barracks but what you would do rather is send the eight villagers that were building the astronomical clock tower to gold once they're finished and the new villagers from the town center to go to wood because of course you're prioritizing wood and gold at that point and in terms of options here you can really go for man at well palace guards they've got of course the palace guards replaces the man at arms for the chinese and so using the palace guards coupled with some trebuchets perhaps some siege can really be a strong push your opponent is in feudal age at this point if they've invested in a rush and so they're pretty behind technologically um and once you get enough wood for a blacksmith you can supervise the blacksmith with an imperial official and get your upgrades in this particular example, we actually go for some eco upgrades, including the horticulture, I think I believe it is, the food upgrade from the mill, 
and also we end up going for double broadbacks and wheelbarrow. But you'll see the rest of the gameplay, we really push ahead with our palace guards and siege and we finish off our opponent. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as it really helps the channel and if you're interested in the PDF version of the build order, do check out the YouTube description of this video which gives some instructions on how you may be able to get hold of it. Otherwise guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this content and would like to see more from this channel, but otherwise, I shall see you next time.